Odad here with a PSE Evo Evo XF33. About a seven inch brace height. The speed on these things, I think with the S2 cams, is really close to 326 feet per second. With the E2 cams, I think it's a little faster at 335 feet per second. So not the fastest shooting the bow in the world, but like I've said before, it's gonna kill a deer. As far as the cams on this thing, we have rotating modules that can get us, um, I think 26 to 31.5 inches in draw length. So you longer draw uh, people out there, you'll appreciate this bow, people like me. Also is fitting with a bow that is 31 and a half inches draw length max. Um, we have 33 inches axle to axle, which is really good. So we don't have a very acute string angle, but you know, it'll be a nice comfortable one. And the bow is said to weigh 4.5 pounds. Now, interestingly enough, I don't know why this is, but I feel like it is really hard to find specifications on PSE bows. So if you're ever Googling to find information, don't be surprised if it's really hard to come across that info. Just a side note. I'll be using this Redline three pin slider that came with it. Uh, first time ever using a Redline, so I'm kind of excited to use it. It's a pretty new product. And I just, uh, I've kind of wanted to get my hands on one to see what the hubbub is all about. Um, I have seen a lot of these for sale, which is kind of interesting. I want to show you a trick real quick though. So when he packed this for me and sent it to me, uh, we have the screws in here in the sight. Whenever you're taking a uh, screw uh, sight off of a bow and you have these little screws and you're like, I don't want to lose them. Screw them in with your fingers right where the quiver would go. Then you don't got to lose. You don't got to worry about losing those things. So I'm going to put this on the bow. And uh, let's get started. Now this bow, I have never shot before, never had it in my hands, never put an arrow in it. First time ever, I'm gonna click in, knock it right now. We're gonna take a super close shot, draw it back, see how it feels, overall feel of the bow. I'm gonna be listening, feeling uh, this first shot. I will be concentrating a little bit on just hitting the target. Threw a sight on there, the red line three pin, uh, slider sight. First time using that too. We'll see how much light it draws in in the early mornings here. Um, so I might lose a little focus trying to hit the bag, but I'm really going to try and zero in and give you in a, a perspective, my perspective on, uh, how this thing feels, sounds, uh, this is a 2022, remember? All right. So right off the bat, uh, I drew back really slowly because I didn't know when the valley was gonna come. I didn't know what the draw length was. I just, like, you know me, I like ripping things out of the box and just trying them just as they are. Um, I am gonna compare this Evo XF33 to a Prime Inline and to a 2023 Elite Amina, uh, just to see uh, how those bows compare to each other. Uh, but right off the bat, um, solid solid back wall but it feel like when i hit the valley it slipped in really fast uh i had that trouble with the matthews phase four too just kind of like a surprising valley i like it when it drops into the valley just really smoothly but a solid back wall that's kind of why i like primes um but yeah so so far uh not overall like impressed with the actual draw cycle on this thing but uh we're gonna give it another whirl here now that i got uh my nervousness out of the way shoot a few more arrows All right, so I really don't like the draw cycle on it. Uh, just personal opinion. Again, pops into the back wall or hits the back wall really fast. The valley is surprising, um, but the back wall is solid. Uh, to hold it full draw, super easy. If I try and let down, um, you know, it doesn't creep. So that's good. Interestingly enough for how much um, what the feet per second is on this thing at like approximately 326 to 335 feet per second that felt like it shot really fast so i'm going to fling a few more arrows really get an overall feel of this thing all right psc evo xf33 um i wasn't that impressed uh, two th 2022 bows uh are still amazing uh, has so much power. You can you can feel it leave though. You can feel the power leave. Unlike some other bows I've tested, 
uh, that are so smooth it feels like effortless. I felt like, um, you know, some of the older bows, if it's 70 pounds, it draws like 70 pounds. Uh, I do feel like it's, it's easy to draw. Uh, not like some of the other bows where you're just like, what, is this really 60? Like, let me check the specifications on this thing. Um, the overall feel in the hand when, it, uh, when I shot, um, there's a little bit of a, um, I don't want to call it a pop because that makes it sound like there's a noise, but there's a mm in the hand, you can feel it. Uh, the overall vibration and everything, no stabilizers or anything, I felt it's very comparable to um, a lot of the other 2022, 2023 bows I've tried. Um, so nothing surprising there. Uh, I'm a, I, you've heard before I shoot the prime black three right now. Uh, and I would, I would say it's comparable to that is how it feels without any stabilizers or anything, vibrations and all that. Uh, it doesn't seem too loud. I bet if I throw it on the decibel level, uh, reader, it's going to be right around 84, 86 decibels, which is comparable. And, uh, so overall rating, just first impressions, throwing it out there. I like to just, you know, not, not put too much time thinking in it. Uh, I can't give you a 9 out of 10 PSE for this one. Uh, but I think I'm going to go like an 8.5 out of 10. And uh, would I recommend it? I would definitely recommend it. Uh, the arrows I was just flinging into the target right there. Uh, you're going to get some pass-throughs. Uh, these things are flying out of here. I would like to put it on a chronograph at some point. But uh, funds are a little low and I don't have a chronograph yet. So to be continued. Uh, but Evo XF33 made by PSE 2022 bow. Try one out sometime, find one, uh, see if someone's looking, you know, buy it for me. So, thank you for watching. Subscribe to Bodad. This is Bodad out.